So the lodge is located about 35 miles northwest of Prince Rupert, BC, on Dundas Island. The draw for a lot of people is large Chinook salmon. Um, Dundas is known to produce some very large fish consistently, maybe more than a lot of other spots on the coast. And the location here is unreal. I had a fly rod in my hand long before I started skiing. I've been skiing professionally now for seven years. Fishing is just, just my biggest passion and fish trout I'm on smaller rivers generally and but I've never fished for salmon or halibut or lingcod specifically, so just such a learning experience. Beautiful morning. Couldn't ask for a nicer sunrise. Just jigging for some bait. Hoping to stock up this cooler so we can have some uh, fresh bait for the rest of the day. So we're right out front of the lodge, probably one of the most legendary spots. Uh, it's called The Wall, it's a great flood tide spot. Um, we've got some fresh bait and we're going to see what we can reach up. Came to this beautiful spot here, we just had a good feeling of it, sure enough, feeding frenzy. Oh my god! Uh, just caught my first coho ever. Hell of a fight. Incredible fish. So much respect for these fish. Beautiful. We have tons of kelp beds. We have huge migrations of juvenile herring. I think that's the big draw for these cohos to come in and, and bulk up for their travels. There's a lot of different routes that Chinooks and cohos and other Pacific salmon will take down the coast, but um, so they do choose to come through here. Fly fishing here for coho, it's pretty spectacular since we do have all that calm water. I just missed two huge coho. It just makes you want it more though. <laughs> just hooked up on a Really nice coho on the fly, which was kind of my goal for this trip, so I'm really, really happy. blew my mind that we can like pick fish like that out of the water and super grateful for their meat too because it's just beautiful fish. say how cool it was to kind of learn all the different styles of fishing. The bay jigging in the morning to the halibut fishing, the mooching to the fly fishing. There's just so many different styles that you could never get bored of fishing here. Like it's endless. A few fish around. Still not the one we're looking for, but sure it'll come. And so our last objective there was to get a Chinook and you know we had to be really patient and kind of just wait it out and the persistence definitely paid off. Oh my god! That's the biggest fish I've ever freaking seen! Holy shit! Oh my god! 
god! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. You're just like holding on and reeling for dear life, basically. This is just totally blown my mind. It's opened up so many doors for salt fishing for me and I'm just more inspired and motivated than ever. Hopefully come back here one day because this place is an absolute dream.